I'm bringing you back to the dopamine channel, boys and girls, because guess what this friendly friend is? Not so friendly friend. This is methamphetamine. And I brought you back to the dopamine channel. I think methamphetamine and dopamine look very similar. The mechanism for methamphetamine is actually involved in leaving dopamine in the synapse. So listen to this. Number one, methamphetamine increases the release of dopamine into the synapse in the first place. Integration project topic right here. How does it do that? Fascinating. Very, I mean, you could figure that out. Number two, it blocks um, transporters that remove dopamine. So anybody who's coming along to remove dopamine, methamphetamine blocks those guys and makes it so they can't do it. Increases the amount of dopamine in the synapse. Causes neurons to fire more often. How does it do that? Dude, this is awesome. And so if the neurons are firing more and releasing more dopamine, then you, how do you feel? Dude, everybody's feeling awesome. We got dopamine that's rewarding us and making us feel pleasurable. Life is fantastic. However, your body responds and your body says, okay, there's all this dopamine here. So instead of having so many receptors, I'm going to decrease the amount of receptors on the postsynaptic neurons or whoever's receiving the information. We've got too much here. It's, it's too crazy. And then you slow down. Or that amount of dopamine, it just isn't having the same effect. And so your response is, we need, I mean, that amount of dopamine looking stuff, you respond by going, I'm not okay unless I have methamphetamine in my system, which is how you end up with tolerance, addiction, withdrawal symptoms, holy integration project, rich, rich opportunities, homeostasis disruption, very interesting chemistry applications. Oh, my gosh. And this lecture, cha-ching, done. I will see you later, dogs.